and what's up my wonderful loyal YouTube subscribers guys we are over 400 subscribers now that is absolutely amazing road to 1000 don't forget comment like subscribe to the channel so Songkran today well it was a bit of yesterday and it was a bit today as well but we're not out for Songkran specifically today we are out in D so I'm sure we will get splashed along the way but we're heading to a new cafe for us anyway I think it's called Nom Cafe or something like that it's got Nom in the title you'll see it across here it's down inside uh, near Blueport around that area we're looking forward to going I haven't eaten anything all day it's after lunchtime it looks like an amazing dessert place so we'll see how it is We've got some really good reviews, which you can see across the screen here. A lot of people say that they love this place. The pictures look fantastic. The food looks so enticing and very calorific. But it is Songkran. It's absolutely boiling. It must be around 35 degrees. It's steamy hot. We've been at home all day. The kids are getting agitated. We're hungry. Let's go out and eat and try not to get splashed. Right guys, we have arrived at Nom More Cafe. Obviously, Nom, for you maybe non-English speakers, Nom is like yum yum, like yum. So Nom, like eat more. You know, you, you know what I'm talking about. So it is a little bit off the beaten track. Behind me is the old rail station or the old rail track. And uh, yes, yeah, really in the middle of, I would say nowhere. So it doesn't get any footfall, to be honest. I'm just in getting the baby seat from the car. And as you probably saw, we avoided getting wet from all the fun that is happening in Hin today. Yes, it's absolutely boiling hot. There's people spraying water everywhere, obviously because it's Songkran today. It is actually the main day today of Songkran. So everyone is having loads and loads of fun today. The great thing about festivals in Thailand, I was saying, even in Southeast Asia in general, everyone just has fun. It's water, it's people spraying water, everyone's having fun, and yeah, it's just good vibe, you know? I'm saying this because I've seen festivals in other countries, like my own, for example, where people just, just get out of hand, they get drunk, they get stupid, and I just guess it's just, they just have a really stupid time. Here it's all about fun. We're not having any of that fun today, unfortunately, because to be honest, my kids are too small to enjoy it. And uh, we're just gonna go out, have something to eat, and then just enjoy Songkran while not getting wet. So if you wanna come in, enjoy this with us, we'll give the review. I'll give my first impressions of the place. Not a welcoming hello, but I don't know if I'll give him the benefit of the doubt because it's Songkran and he's working. But it wasn't like hello, didn't get any hello or greeting, which unfortunately there are people in there eating already. So let's go in and uh, see what we can have today. Right, let's have a look at the menu, guys. None more established in 2014. So the coffees look good price. Breakfasts, waffles, cheese toasts. Ooh, it's making me hungry now because I wanted something savory and sweet. So, um, Wow, this, if you want dessert, this looks like the place to go. This looks like a good place. They've got great pictures. I'm going to give them that very enticing pictures here. Waffles and kakigori. So that's a Japanese style, this thing here. It looks amazing actually, but I'm not sure if I'll get that today. Probably get one of these drinks as well. I think, um, is the diet off today? I think the diet is off today. 
it is the weekend, it is Songkran and everything looks amazing so that's a good menu, overall good menu. Good to see it established uh, 10 years ago and um, we're gonna order, so we'll see what we order. All right guys, so the Kakigori has arrived. Let's have a look at this in uh, close up. So it's beautifully presented here. We've got the shaved Kakigori basically is shaved ice for anyone who doesn't know. And then they have some strawberry here, some uh, strawberry puree. And then we have some condensed milk, some fresh kiwi, fresh dragon fruit and fresh banana and look at Athena's face what's that? you want that? yeah yeah that looks good that looks very very good all right we'll let Athena try it first you go you try it. have have some of this first oh sorry wow yeah I think she likes it. Hey guys, I'm gonna try it. Be the first time trying this category without kids bumping me. Here we go. Mm. Wow, this is like so refreshing. Yeah. Mm. Cold shaved, <laughs> cold shaved fluffy ice. Sweet. I'm gonna hand it over to Athena because she's bugging me. Go guys, I'm gonna enjoy this and uh, we'll see you in a bit. So, how is it? Good. I can say very refreshing. It's very refreshing, yes. Yeah, like good. soft, powdery, and we've asked for a spare bowl, kapun kara for Athena. So we're gonna give Athena some. in your mouth. First impressions of Kakigori. It wasn't sold at first when I thought I heard it was shaved ice but now I'm 100% convinced this is my dessert. This is the strawberry French toast, or I don't know what they call it, it's strawberry toast with uh, strawberry ice cream. I think they just call it toast, not French toast. How is it? Good. So fluffy. Is it better than uh, roses? That's the that's the deal. Rose. The ice cream and stuff like yeah, that. let's take it with the ice cream then we'll... Let's do a flashback first of the rose. Alright, so we have the dessert here. This, uh, this is the thickest French toast we've had so far yet. And um, yeah, go on, give us a little taste test of that. We've got some, uh, what is that? Chocolate chip ice cream. Avocado. I didn't know avocado comes with it. That's an interesting combination, but cookies and cream. Go on, give it a little taste. All right, Athena, I know you want some, but you have to wait a minute. How is it? How is it? So buttery. Buttery? And honey. Wow, nice. Let's get a little look at that. It looks, it's very actually visually appealing, like yeah, really so good. good for like um, literally a one man band in there. She's cooking away for tons of people here at the restaurant. And now we're back. So the comparison is as good. No. Ooh, why? Why are you being rude? Not rude, but at first I'm taking the honey one. Yep. So I should have tried the honey. Oh, okay, to compare, like, like for like. Maybe it's is it crispy, the outside? Or is it soft? No, it's, it's a bit crispy. Okay, yeah, crispy and soft. 
fresh strawberries, which is a good touch. I like that. Plus the strawberry puree, cream, and two ice cream, uh, strawberry ice cream. So I think that's pretty good. The presentation was amazing. So I'm gonna give that. Oh, I'm it's gonna try it. It's not as sweet. Oh, okay. Obviously, there's no honey. Right, so I'm gonna try a little bit of that. Just um, can you cut me a little square, please. Right, guys, here we go. First bite. Mm. Crispy on the outside, moist on the inside. Nice sweet strawberry puree. Very good. Some might even say nom nom. Right guys, so that was Nom More Cafe and wow, it was really, really good. Very, very tasty. That was the first time I've tried and we both tried Kakigori, which is basically just shaved ice with cream, uh, with some syrup in it. Absolutely amazing, absolutely amazing. Guys, so the bill is here across the screen. I think it came to around 356 Thai baht, which is probably a little bit less than $10. So $10, two desserts very happy customers we are very very surprised this place is a little bit off the beaten track but if you can come here and when i say off the beaten track it's a bit of a pun right because literally the railway track is there, there anyway guys come here support the local thai businesses we probably will be coming back again just for that dessert but as always we like to try new places guys thank you for watching please comment and subscribe. Let's get that channel up to a thousand subs as soon as possible. And if you're out enjoying Songkran, get wet, have fun, stay safe, and we'll see you soon.